A car bomb in Lurgan claims the life of human rights lawyer Rosemary Nelson. The Taoiseach condemns the killing as an attack on the peace process. The European Commission in emergency session after today's damning report. Safe and well, the County Cork toddler who went missing for 18 hours. Good evening and welcome. There has been widespread condemnation on both sides of the border of the murder of the Lurgan solicitor Rosemary Nelson. The 40-year-old mother of three, who had represented the Garvahi Road residents and other nationalists, died after her car blew up as she drove from her home this afternoon. Leading the condemnation, the Taoiseach, who's in San Francisco, said it was an attack on the peace process. Tonight, about 60 youths threw a small number of petrol and paint bombs at police and soldiers in Lurgan in protest of the murder. Within the past few minutes, a group calling themselves the Loyalist Red Hand Defenders claimed responsibility for the attack in a call to the BBC in Belfast, accompanied by a recognised code word. Eyewitnesses said Rosemary Nelson didn't stand a chance. The device, probably a powerful booby trap bomb, exploded underneath her car just before lunchtime. One of her three children, eight-year-old Sarah, was in her primary school just 20 yards from where her mother was slain. She was cut from the wreckage and rushed to Craigavon Hospital, where she died a short time later. Her family were around her. And this is a, a dreadful attack, a disgraceful attack on a very well-known local solicitor and mother, a member of the community here in Mid-Ulster. Rosemary Nelson's life had been threatened on numerous occasions. A prominent solicitor, she represented many high-profile nationalists, including the Garvahi residents and the family of Robbie Hamill, kicked to death in Portadown two years ago. Viewed by nationalists as a real champion of the people, they are in no doubt as to who was responsible for her murder. Here we have a very sophisticated mechanism of some type, uh, and I think the finger points at the most secure crops within the British structure who don't want this particular process to work. Late this afternoon, nationalists staged a protest outside Lurgan's RUC station. Tonight, the area is tense. British Army troops and police in riot gear are on standby, although there has only been a few minor incidents. The murder of Rosemary Nelson has struck at the very heart of the nationalist community. One senior RUC officer told me right now it was the worst thing that could have happened. The danger is that dissident Republicans who've been searching for a reason to return to violence may just feel they've just found one. Michael O'Kane, RT News, Lurgan. September, Rosemary Nelson was in Washington talking about being intimidated and receiving death threats. She told the House Committee on International Relations OUC officers were responsible. These difficulties have involved OUC officers questioning my professional integrity, making allegations that I'm a member of a paramilitary group, and at their most serious, making threats against my personal safety. St. Patrick's Day meant that most of Northern Ireland's politicians were in Washington when news came through of today's attack. The first question they were asked was about the implications it would have on the peace process. My reaction is this, that it, in its murderous, grotesque way, shows how important the peace process is and how we must ensure that nothing is allowed to damage that process of peace. The, this atrocity has been committed in almost all certainty by people who wanted to damage the process, just as we've had other atrocities committed by people for the purpose of damaging the process. And it underlines the need for us to ensure that it does not succeed. Rosemary Nelson came to public prominence dealing with high-profile cases like Republican Colin Duffy and advising the Garvahi Road residents over several years. I was speaking with her on Friday. And... Uh, as I say, she was a personal friend, a person who I loved, and who loved this community. My heart goes out to her husband and her children. It's inevitable that parallels are being drawn with the other solicitor, Pat Finucane, who was gunned down by loyalists ten years ago. Allegations of security force collusion have never fully been investigated. The legal profession is worried again that they could be killed for upholding constitutional rights. And whoever defence lawyers defend, uh, they should not be equated um, with causes if they're unpopular causes. Um, and she 
ought to have been protected. It would have been known that she was at risk. Paul Cunningham, RT News. Here, all the political parties have condemned the killing of Mrs Nelson. The Fine Gael leader, John Bruton, described the bombing as a calculated attempt to disrupt the peace process and a deliberate attempt to undermine the legal system which he served so well. Mr Bruton added, her killing was designed to inflame sectarian passions within Northern Ireland at a time when there was a need to keep calm and work for compromise. In San Francisco tonight, the Taoiseach has said the murder of Rosemary Nelson was an outrage and an attack on the peace process and those who support it. He said she courageously served her clients and the cause of justice despite threats to her life. Well, I knew Rosemary Nelson. I'd met her in a number of delegations when she came to government buildings and to the Department of Foreign Affairs. Uh, it is a terrible tragedy. It's, a, it's an assassination of a, a lawyer. Uh, that is an attack on, on the civil rights. Uh, all that we've been trying to do is, is to bring um, fair human and civil rights to, to people and uh, killing somebody who represented people who uh, under normal international civil rights is, is an attack on democracy. Uh, it is a terrible deed. Unfortunately, uh, it's an issue we thought we'd moved away from to these kind of atrocities and this is as bad as anything. It's an attack on somebody who is going about their job and trying to give legal representation to people who are entitled to it and I think it will be seen in the world as an attack on democracy. What are the implications for it in the short term in terms of the actual peace process and particularly the discussions about decommissioning? Well I suppose in the first instance uh, I'd want to, to give my, my sympathies and that of the government to, uh, to Rosemary's family, to her children, uh, to her extended community that she worked very hard for. Uh, any of my dealings with her were always to, to do with cases of travesty of justice cases where she was working. Uh, of course, I think that the whole issue of, of Garvahi Road and uh, the issues surrounding that that have gone on now for eight months on a basis, uh, which I regularly raise with the, the British Prime Minister, uh, will again, I think, rekindle in people's minds uh, all of this because that has really just gone on and on and on. Uh, and I, I think this, this is, is bound to be related in some form or another to, to her assassination today. Um, it makes it difficult, uh, but uh, in, in all cases like this, whether it was Omar or whether it was the Queen children, uh, democratic politicians have to redouble their efforts. Sinn Féin MP and Chief Negotiator Martin McGuinness joins us now from our Derry studio. Mr McGuinness, you described today's events as deepening the crisis in the peace process. How grave is your concern tonight? Well, of course, I'm very concerned that uh, this is a very, very serious uh, development. Uh, the, the killing of uh, Rosemary is something which uh, strikes at the very heart of the nationalist community, and I think it will have a very profound Im impact, and I think that there will be reverberations for this for some time to come. Now, now that said, I echo the words of the Taoiseach. It is the responsibility of all politicians, but particularly the two governments, to ensure that the implementation of the Good Friday Agreement takes place as a matter of urgency, because I believe that only through the implementation of that agreement is it possible to undermine those people who are out to destroy the, the agreement. Uh, a few minutes ago, the Loyalist Red Hand Defenders claimed that it carried out the attack using a recognised code word. Uh, in view of the fact that you had earlier talked of collusion, uh, does the fact that the bombing has been claimed by a dissident group at least to a degree lessen your concerns? Well, I think uh, Irish Republicans and, and Nationalists have known f over the course of the last 30 years that Loyalist groupings have been manipulated by elements within British military intelligence and by elements within the, the RUC. And I believe Rosemary was killed by the same people who killed Pat Finucan. There's no question or doubt about it. And the history of the last uh, number of years clearly shows, as your clip showed, that Rosemary Nelson was uh, ritualistically threatened and harassed and intimidated by the RUC and the loyalist uh, paramilitary groupings were pointed in her direction. So the responsibility for her death lies not just with the people who planted the bomb, but for those people who set her up for assassination. So you don't actually accept the, that the Red Hand defenders were responsible? Well, I think that we have to keep an open mind about all of this. And I think that we have learned too many lessons over the course of the last uh, 30 odd years to rule out the prospect that elements within uh, the RUC and the British military establishment who are opposed to the peace process were involved in this particular killing. Well, Mr McGuinness, uh, in an atmosphere where from all sides people are appealing for calm, we've seen rioting tonight in Lurgan. Uh, what, what would you say to the young people who have taken to the streets tonight endangering their own and other people's lives? Well, I too very much would appeal for Kiam, and, and I would certainly advise all of those young people not to become involved in anything which would deflect attention from this terrible deed which was uh, committed today in Lurgan. 
I, I also am very concerned about the safety of young people, and I think that in situations like this, we've seen too many times in the past, elements within the British uh, military establishment use circumstances like this to inflict more uh, tragedy and suffering on the nationalist people, and I think that the young people would be well advised uh, to think twice before they engage in any activities which uh, could be used as a comfort blanket Mr. to those McGinnis, people within unionism who are opposed to the process. Thank you very much for joining us from Derry. Thank you.